You know, the funny thing is people are making hundreds of thousands of dollars flipping shoes. And anytime you hear those stories, you're like, wow, I can't believe people can actually become millionaires flipping shoes. Yes, it is possible. So in today's conversation, I want to acquaint you with the step-by-step -step you need to follow if you want to be a millionaire flipping shoes. Don't you go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you already ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or a tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to speak to you about how to make real money, solid money, flipping shoes, okay? So here is a step-by-step. -step. Number one, you want to research. So keeping up with the sneaker, sneaker environment, sneaker ecosystem is essential. Sneaker news is important. You must be on top of shoe releases and how you can get your hands on new sneakers. Very important. There are a couple of ways you can do that. You got to go to conventions. For example, you have sneaker con. So this is a great way to meet face to face to buy, sell and trade collectible sneakers with thousands of at uh, attendees and vendors. You can follow social accounts on Twitter and Instagram that create community uh, that's the communities for a sneaker enthusiasts to get connected to we have a lot of those communities so if you are interested just drop us uh, that's the questions below and we'll just uh, refer you to very good communities or you can try youtube i mean youtube channels build cult followings and will update their followers on all things really it actually are associated with the sneaker world you know they can upload reviews and sell from their own connect collection you have hot beast you have high snobiety. So those both news sites started as blogs covering streetwear and fashion, and they now are main sources for sneaker news. Okay, they also cover other luxury brand partnerships and, cu and culture. So what I'm trying to tell you, you need to educate yourself. You need to research. You need to know what's really going on. And please start with one pair. If you want to start out with a pair you know very well, you want to go with popular brands, okay? Very important because if, when you start with one, it becomes a lot easier, okay? You want to plan when and how you can buy. It's all about budget. You need to have the right money, you need the right budget also, okay? Very important. And now there are a couple of tools that can help you. You have apps that track releases. So apps like Cop Date help you avoid lines and secure highly anticipated shoe drops. So you essentially make a reservation for upcoming products, for launches, okay? And what, what happens here is that when you have, a, a, when you have those product launches, Copdit will do the rest for you. You also have a Grillify. So they keep a release calendar following sneaker news from the very first rumor to the official release of the last race stock. You can also think about bots. Some of the bigger shoe resellers use bots to help automate the process of finding shoes in the size, color, and style they want. You can also check eBay pricing to see what's really new there as well. So you have a large constellation of ways to actually uh, plan when and, and how you can buy shoes. The second most important step is to ascertain what we call ascertaining in other words you need to, de to determine if the shoes are fake or genuine you need to have that distinction okay because you know unfortunately the market is uh, just uh, the market is this sneaker market is very very competitive you have a lot of players some are good some are not good so the question is how do you how do you identify the right shoes the how do you actually identify the fake shoes too okay the last thing you want is to actually make a mistake and buy fake shoes and this problem exists in online marketplaces that do not have an, an let's say a middleman such as Amazon or eBay. Okay, so one thing I want to tell you here is that if the asking price is too reasonable to be accurate, it, sh it could be fake. Okay, but before you come down to that conclusion, you must first discover how to determine whether the sneakers are genuine. So ask for receipts, for example. 
it's for real photos not photoshop not photos lifted from the internet no 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 you are asking for a real for a real photo real pictures okay and the thing is if you have been in this game for a long time you gotta trust your gut too okay let's say you you you, you have done your research you know how a shoe is supposed to look like and the seller is is just sending you a picture and you realize you know there's something not really right here it's all about that instinct that gut feeling that tells you you know this is a good thing this is a good product it's a good snicker or this is not pay attention to the details boss very important you may check a seller's rating on amazon or an ebay by looking at their profile okay so anything less than 95 percent should be avoided at all cost trust me trust us on that we have been doing research on this for a while so anytime you see a vendor i mean you see a seller that has who has a less than 95 percent you just want to run it as far away as possible and you have to learn how to spot the fakes so this is not a lesson you want to learn the hard way with so many sellers out there you want to make sure you are buying the real deal a price that's way too good i said this before to be true is always one indicator there could be something shitty going on if you want to be very thorough you can ask for specific photos with indicators like the current date on a newspaper to accurately place them you can also ask for the purchase receipt i said this before check the seller ratings okay you want to read reviews and get apps that help check authenticity okay there's an app called check check and there are others also but the bottom line is you need to ascertain very important don't don't you start buying fake shoes and you have uh, you have a whole inventory of fake shoes and the next thing you know you are losing money you want to build up you really want to build inventory boss the thing here is that you know you probably could be making what let's say a hundred dollars on uh, on the sale of uh, sneakers but if you want to scale this business you really have to uh, to build inventory it's very important now the thing here is that there's always already an online presence for sneaker reselling prior to the pandemic for example but in the past two years or three years we ha we have actually seen that a lot of stuff has moved online so as you build your inventory you need to actually look at a couple of uh, apps and those are apps that you really really want to uh, to to install to download on your on your phone so you know exactly what's really happening in the in the industry so adidas app adidas confirmed sneakers so s n k r s for nike shoes okay so what we have seen occasionally obtaining sneakers direct f directly from a retailer is the most difficult part of the process because the quantities are extremely limited and the demand is, so, is also very high okay so you can actually look for the the the, the marketplace i'll speak about those later one but there are aftermarket apps such as goat speakercon stocks and uh, ebay but the thing is you have to understand again with uh, the supply being very limited and the demand being so high you have a disconnect right so you got to act real fast you got to act real fast so you can use one platform as your buying and selling platform you can use an app to verify the authenticity of the sneaker you're trying to buy in other words what i'm trying to say going back to what i said about starting with one shoe you, you, if you start with one and you do everything one 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 things become very easier for you at least at the beginning until you master the whole process because it's all about getting your feet wet making sure that you are comfortable with the process that you, you that you, you that you master all the ins and outs before you can actually scale okay and remember that when we talk about sneaker reselling volume is king i want to say that volume is king it's not about having one or two or three sneakers i mean you could probably make a couple of bucks okay how are you how are you going to su to survive in the long run after uh, after selling three or four uh, sneakers you need to build volume volume is key you need to build inventory now the thing is when we talk about and i'll speak about that in the next section but when you think about inventory there is a direct correlation between inventory and what warehousing or storage i mean what well, not warehousing i mean we know shoe flippers who actually store their inventory at at warehouses because their inventory is just so big but for you as a starter you really want to have a place where you can store your inventory so let's talk about storing because this is important so you got to have a plan for storage okay shoes take up more space than other items in a way that you can start flipping so it's not like you can fold them 
into nice piles like with t-shirts and pants, right? And the thing is, the shoe box is equally important when reselling shoes, so you must accommodate for stacks of shoe boxes. Also consider how you will organize different sizes, colors, and, and types. Because the whole thing here is that you wanted to organize shoes in such a way that when somebody places an order, you can actually, uh, you can actually fulfill the order real quick. Especially at the beginning when you have a small operation, you got to be organized. Very important. And I don't care. I don't care how you do it, but you got to you got to dedicate a specific space in the house or in the office. It could be your basement. It could be your garage or whatever. But you got to have a, a dedicated space. OK, it has to be dedicated. In other words, you can't just be doing something else there. You can like, like you cannot be in pizza and at the same spot you actually no 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 it has to be dedicated okay so or you can invest in storage space okay yeah that's really what it is I mean you know I mean shoes take up more room than other items that can be flipped so you know so you know do you want to buy do you want to uh, rent at a storage space that's kind of important too and uh, the shoe box is just very important okay so. And in addition to storage, you have other overhead costs to uh, think about. You got to think about, let's say, the apps, because those apps are not cheap. They're not free. You have to pay for them. You have to pay for your for your accounting because uh, come uh, tax time, you got to have a way to to track your your expenses and be able to pay income taxes because you don't want to have a visit by the, by the IRS. Right. You definitely don't want that. So you also have to think about, let's say, gas, if you have to drive, okay, if you, if you have to do a local pickup and delivery. So those are those invest. you have to think about that. What about advertising? Okay, this could also be important. Now, we tell uh, our, our the beloved viewers and, uh, you know, if you want to be in uh, shoe flip, in the shoe flipping industry, make sure that you allocate 20 or 25% of your income, okay, for federal, state, and local income taxes. That way, come year end, you're not really freaking out because you know you already have the money. Now, the money, you just put it in a separate bank account. You can call it the, the tax account or the tax, whatever you want, but it ha that money has to be only, it has to be earmarked for taxes only. Next, you want to resell. So, this is the important part. Very, this is a, an exciting part, okay? Now, when we talk about resale, where can you resell sneakers and shoes? Now, this, we've, we're have we going to show you in today's conversation a short, not exhaustive uh, list of platforms, but those platforms have actually been around for a while and uh, they are very popular, so you want to actually familiarize yourself with uh, how they work, okay? And these sites that I'm gonna show you, they make your life easier and can also streamline your footwear selling and buying process. Okay, first you have Stocks. So Stocks actually tracks the price of shoes and sneakers over a 12 month period. A helpful tool when determining which shoes you may want to invest in for reselling purposes. So sellers can list shoes for resale where interested buyers bid or buy said shoes. Okay, so stocks really acts like a, a middle person, a middleman between the buyer and the seller, which can be reassuring with fake sneakers circulating out there. Okay, this also helps takes out take out the cumbersome process of shipping to your own customers by letting stocks handle instead. So and they do a great job at it. They really do a great job. You also have uh, so. Besides stocks, you also have uh, GOAT. So GOAT positions itself between primary and resale markets, catering to sneaker enthusiasts with style from the past, present, and future. So they have actually also in the last few years, we have seen, we have been following them for a while now. They have uh, also expanded to accessories and apparel. Okay, so buyers can purchase from select shoe sellers like retailers and boutiques or directly from GOAT. So with over 20 million, 20 to 25 million members across 164 countries, 164 countries, the, the, this global platform is a staple for resellers. So they are really great. You also have stadium goods. So you send your items, let's say footwear, apparel, and, uh, and accessories to stadium goods, and they handle the inspecting, listing, and marketing, and shipping. That's, that's very easy. Right. Not to mention, Stadium Goods is another trusted source for shoe resellers and well known among the community. So they use their own sales channels along with uh, Amazon, eBay, Farfetch, and more to broaden the reach of whatever you are trying to sell. Since Stadium Goods keeps inventory on site, 
sellers can expect quick shipping and payouts. This is this is one thing we love about Stadium Goods: the the celerity, the speed of uh, of shipping. We also have the pop. So the pop is actually uh, you will find a lot more than just you know than just shoes on the platform and sneakers also. So the thing here is that what we love about this uh, platform is that the personal touch of social selling is a key component to this marketplace and you can definitely capture some shoe enthusiasts looking for a trendy streetwear okay and so you have 21 to 22 million users and counting so this is really good so besides the pop it's the size stadium goods good good stocks you also have craigslist you can try ebay also those are great places and uh, you can also browse shoe liquidation auctions at, on the b stock okay this is another interesting platform that you might want to explore I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation about how to make money flipping shoes this year. The, the next thing you want to do is to get social. Very important. Now, YouTube channels are a good educational tool, but also another outlet for resellers and sneakerheads, okay? And uh, so YouTube has a nearly 2 billion monthly users. Think about that, 2 billion. So you have the potential to reach plenty of eyeballs, okay? And this is just fantastic. So you want to constantly, constantly prol social media especially youtube to see what's really happening out there okay and you want to have you want to form an engaged social media presence so that people can come back asking for questions because sometimes it's not just about the, making the sale it's about educating your your customers too because the the more people look at your your channel or look at yourself as an educator as someone who knows a lot about the industry they are more willing to buy from you the sale will come automatically the sale will come naturally but first establish your credibility within the community establish credibility vis-a-vis -vis your your audience and then they'll start trusting you with that trust you can parlay that trust into a multi-million empire flipping shoes okay so what which shoes are the most sought after well you have the nike air yeezy red october a fantastic fantastic i mean Kanye West is one of the most revered musicians today, so Nike released their first non-athlete partnership pair of sneakers as a result of the celebrity. So this is really good, okay? And you also have Air Jordan, Air Jordan 12, another great piece of uh, footwear that we love. I mean, Michael Jordan is uh, famous internationally, and uh, so he founded the Jordan brand, which includes his line of Nike sneakers and his achievements as an athlete, okay? And so, uh, based just on his shoes, you may rapidly compile a list of the most costly sneakers. You also have here, Nike Air Mag Back to the Future, another fantastic piece of footwear. Just look at that, just look at this. Wonderful, I mean, this is just wonderful. And uh, so, this is really great. And this this piece of footwear can go all the way to, uh, you know, they can go all the way to 2,000, 3,000. So the whole thing I'm trying to say here is that you want to establish yourself and you want to actually focus on a few specific pairs that are really always popular. Because that's the whole thing. You're not trying to reinvent the wheel. Do not try to reinvent the wheel. Always, you want to swim along the current. Very important. That's what you want to do. Swim along the current. Let's talk about the last part, which is scaling. So you've done all the work, you have uh, researched, you ascertained, you build up your inventory, you you have a place where you can store your shoes, right? And uh, you are trying to, you know, you, you've had a great strategy at reselling and you got, you got social, now you have to scale. Now, you need to reinvest your earnings into more shoes. So if you want to get into the reselling game for the long haul, which you should, definitely, reinvest in your earnings into another pair of more expensive or limited edition sneakers is always a great option so you can start researching what pair those may be before you even have the money to buy them that way you you are actually uh, you know you are having one you are being one step ahead and once you get comfortable with the industry you can sell more sought after shoes with higher profit margins 
Okay, this is really important. So you got to get into that mindset of uh, constantly doing the ROI and uh, saying, you know what, I'm not putting this this cash and uh, keep it in the bank. No, I need to reinvest into the business. So how much can you really expect to make as a shoe flipper? Now, if you are determined to be successful, then the answer is millions. Really, the answer is millions. And uh, so um, we basically, you know, a lot, a lot of folks have, have been talking about, well, you if you're just selling shoes, how much money can you make a month? You can make six digits a month. Definitely. You know, we have clients who are getting close to six digits. We have clients who are definitely making, who are definitely grossing over $1 million a year. Definitely. Uh, you know, we've seen the paperwork. We, we do their taxes and whatnot. So we can see how much they are pulling. Okay. Now, this are, however, only uh, the, the thing is there are, however, only a few persons, a few people who have made a fortune as shoe resellers. For example, we have a Benjamin Kapolushnik. He's arguably the most successful sneaker reseller, hands down. He owns the sneaker marketplace Sneakerdon. So Benjamin began his career at the age of 13 in 2013, and he rose to prominence two years later. Think about that, two years. <laughs> and he actually rose to prominence as a shoe supplier for DJ Khaled. So DJ Khaled, everybody knows DJ Khaled, and so basically DJ Khaled recommended him to his entertainment industry contacts okay so he made his first million in 2016 so and since then he has been reselling okay he's been he's been in the industry for a while but what i'm well, what we love about this story is that it's all it's always about you know ha having the right contact having the right shoes and you too can do that you need to start first with the right shoe with the right pair pick one and focus on that This is the end of today's conversation. I really appreciate your uh, your attention. So just to recap here. So how do you make money flipping shoes? Number one, research. Number two, ascertain. Number three, build up. Number four, store. Number five, resell. Number five, number six, rather, get social. And number seven, you want to scale. Thank you so much for your attention. I appreciate it once again. God bless you. Until next time, just remember, you need to remain marvelous.